Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 11 series on the Invader vs. Defender scenario. So, we sold everything they buy and they won't buy the rest. We bought a whole bunch of magnesium. We bought medium armor and another booster. Uh, so we now have three multi-boosts. Medium armor, because it's just... We're going to, um, oh, where did I leave that behind? That's really stupid if I did. Maybe I did. Why don't I have that on my, I have my, I have an EVA somewhere, don't I? Yeah, right there. Okay. Okay. So we're, we're golden. We have lots of oxygen and water. We've got lots of fuel. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to space, but I need some food. Um, well, I almost spent all my cash on the magnesium, so, and armor and armor boost. Um, yeah, 800 credits ain't going to get us much. Well, let's buy as many pizzas as we can. That's quite a, they, they're, they're quite a bit. That's 226. That looks like the best value for a dollar yeah five pizzas that'll last us that's plenty that's plenty okay let's get out of here oh <laughs> freaking little spitty bar there's no spitty bugs uh the uh crickets right at the freaking door they will attack, especially at that range. See, he's, he wants to come after me now. I got a little lippy with him coming out the door. I don't think he likes me. See, he... Well, he's not doing the little dance. Anyway, let's go to space. We're going to go to space. We're going to take this thing to space. Um... Let's get the oxygen turned on. We'll turn the lights on. We'll turn the thrusters on. We'll worry about the turrets when we get up there. We do have bullets for it, so that's not a big deal. Let's manage this. Um, oh, actually, here. It's before that spoils. And then we can put this away into there. Uh, let's just throw this stuff back into its, is that it? No, one of those, so we can, you know, I'll just, let's just put it into there. That's fine for now. That's fine. They won't buy those right now. We'll try again later. Okay, so let's go to space and try finding some Sathium, Neo, and Pentaxid. So not bad. We've got a speed of, what, 21 going up right now? That's not so bad. If I, if I went forward and like this, but yeah, let's see if we can go a little faster. There we go. There we go. There we go, back up into space. Nice. I didn't bring my little crap box SV with me. Okay, so now that we're in space, let's... Oh, wow. Uh, oh, right, we uncovered a couple. I was going to say, wow, did we just come out right in front of... Okay, let's turn these uh, weapons back on. And... Oh. Let's make sure that it's not going to shoot at bases and crap right now. Although, does it really matter out in space here? Okay, we're jiggling around because we're in the at or we're still getting influenced by the planet. Uh, so, couple vessels, yeah. Predator, NPCs, drones, yeah, that should do it. We should be able to shoot down the drones. Okay. Good enough. That's. I just wanted to make sure that it'll shoot at space drones. So we got to try and find 
some here let's level off let's try leveling off and let's where's the planet where's the planet are we like right over top of it yeah okay that's fine um What I'm looking for is asteroids that just kind of pop in. Now we also want to get about, oh there, like that one. Did you see that? I saw it. Nice. I like it when... Uh, go out in space and like right away find deposits or um, asteroids I should say because this game doesn't have a mechanic to find them yet and it even made it worse so that if you don't spot it you ain't even gonna see it unless you get like really see I still haven't discovered it I can now see it but so iron okay well that's fine let's get close enough so that we can discover it then it should stay on our map so what is that? There we go. Okay. And we are, yeah, almost 4K out. That's, so anywhere, oh, are those, do those look like asteroids? They kind of do, don't they? I don't think they are. Oh, wait, yes, they are. They're the, uh, the two. <laughs> Yes, as is my matter of fact, they are. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. So they all seem to look like that chunky style. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So what we need to do is let's... Oh, you know what? We should go... Let's go check out this asteroid field off to the side here kind of trippy not really sure if there's going to be anything at all or if we're just completely wasting our time also keep an eye out for asteroids popping in I might have missed oh was that is that one right there? Did that just pop in? Did that just pop in? I'm not sure. It seemed like it did. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. Well, it must be freaking massive because I'm... I mean, we're clipping along pretty good here. Okay, well, it's getting bigger now. Uh, I think it's just a, a nothing. Uh, okay. It's fine. I thought it popped into view. I guess it didn't. It must have just uh, seemed like it did. Oh, 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 oh. I saw you. Sneaky. Now, if he's Polaris, that's not a big deal. If he's Xerox, we're getting the heck out of Dodge. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. He's clipping along really fast, too. Wow. Like, I'm having troubles keeping up. If he comes after us, if he's Xerox, we could be in trouble. Okay, he's Polaris. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay. 
Well, that's good. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, look at... Ooh, Pentaxid, Pentaxid, Pentaxid. Yes, thank you very much. Now, is it going to be guarded by... Oh, look, look at it all. It's like everywhere. Holy crap. Really? Three of them, anyway. Well, maybe not everywhere, but... Nice. Okay, so I don't see any... I don't see any drones. Wow, four? Four things of Pentaxid in here? Yep. Yep. Holy crap. Five? five? I see some more in, over there. There is a ton of Pentaxid in this asteroid field. Holy crap. It is the mother load of Pentaxid. Well... I don't mind if I do, because uh, I could make a whole crap load of ammunition with it for my laser rifle, which I'm, you know, I'm 21st level now, so I should probably <laughs> learn it and learn a whole bunch of stuff since I have like a thousand action points or something. But in the meantime, today, we're going to take some of this stuff. So let's just... Uh, um, there, let's turn the thrusters off. Keep the turrets and other crap on. Yeah, should be fine. What do we got? 16 hours left. Tons. Oops. And let's go into this view and get our jetpack on. There we go. And no, what's going on here? Go into here we go. <laughs> wow. Okay. Flipped upside down. There we go. That was awesome. Okay, so now let's can we we just perpetually upside down. No, there we go. Um, sweet. So let's get some of this. We're going to get some. So I can either go out there by putting on my um, EVA boost so that I can handle the cold, or I can just sit in here like a pansy and launch my drone and i think i'm going to choose option two the pansy route yes it is a choice resource drill nice oh let's connect to uh i think it's going to be too much to connect so let's just connect to the big boy We'll just connect to the big boy and throw it in there for now. Get our drill back. See, I, I wish it would stop doing that. Flip our... Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Whatever. It seems to flip your your toolbar a lot when you're changing interfaces. It's like, why did you flip my toolbar? Although, I mean, for there, because I was connecting to a... I know why I did, because I connected... I created a dual bar so of course it flipped to it but there's other circumstances where the logic of the game is not very logical or intuitive but they are slowly improving it with uh, user input so kudos and you know, they did add the missions to allow us to try and get the the super ultra expensive and hard to get rare optic matrixes and uh, their other counterpart, the uh, lesser one for the tier three. Um, at least they made that doable in some missions on this scenario anyway. Now, I haven't checked out the other starts on this scenario to see if they have similar missions at level 25, too. I'm not sure if they do. Wow, we're just picking up a heap here. Love it. 
yeah. We're gonna... We're gonna have all that pentaxid. It's good. We're gonna need it. I mean, we'll need it for ammo right off the bat, for laser rifle. Need it for certain meds, too. Well, the components for certain meds. Oh, this is quite a bit. This is awesome. And this is what one of like many in this field. So I don't think we're going to be running out of Pentaxid ever. Yeah, this is crazy. Okay. So I'm going to mine this out, uh, this one asteroid, and I'll come back and grab you guys. Okay, um, I didn't want to weigh myself down unnecessarily, so we just finished mining this one uh, meteorite, or sorry, asteroid. I'm not going to go mine a bunch of other ones. I can always come back here to get more, because uh, they're just everywhere. You can see them around us, Pentax and asteroids, just tons of them. So, uh, the what we got from this one almost 500 so that's going to satisfy us for a while here that I, that's good enough let's go to the moon and where's the moon the moon is that way that way there it is okay so i'm going to go to the moon and i will meet you guys there i want to try and find a um, neodymium asteroid. Uh, I also do want to. Oh, Pentaxid. That's fine. <laughs> I also do want to find a Sathium asteroid. And we've got this. You know, is there is there Neo out in space here? Is there Neo in space? Yep. You know what? Maybe we'll just. I think I'll, what I'll do is I'm gonna I'm gonna fly around this asteroid ring since the the field the the tight asteroid field over there was all pentaxid. Maybe we'll find like the Neo and the Sat. Oh 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 oh! I saw that pop in. I saw that pop in. Probably like copper or something. Oh, I saw another one pop in down there too. Oh, I saw another one pop in. Oh my goodness, we've got uh, we've got multi multi asteroids. Okay, what is this one? Cobalt. Okay, I'm not too. I don't really care about the cobalt. Let's just mark. Oh, and see, there's an. There's a Prometheum or something over there. That's silicone. Okay. Looked funny. That, though, is very interesting looking. That looks like neodymium. Let's get these marked. Let's just get close enough to mark these. We'll come back to them. Mine them with the, uh, with the drill once we get the neo and sathium. We'll be able to go... Uh, just marking all this stuff here. Right? There's no sense not marking it. Although it looks like it's just going to be trivial to find um, asteroids in this in this asteroid belt. Like I see another one over there. Like they're just it's, it's just riddled with them. Okay. Okay, this is awesome. Uh, let's go check out what the, oh, yeah, no, uh, I guess we're flying this way. I'm not flying into the, into the sun. I'm not flying into the sun, sorry. I don't care if it looked like Neodymium. It's a lot of Pentaxid, just like, 
a, a, like a ton. <laughs> I mean, this is sort of designed more for multiplayer, right? So keep that in mind. Okay, where was that other one? I saw it over here somewhere. Where are you now? Where are you now? Where did you go? I'm not sure where it went. Was I just hallucinating? Possibly. It's the cobalt. Yeah, I. Not sure. Okay. Um. There. Let's get to the um, galactic up and down, and we'll continue on. Okay. So, I'm looking for Sathium and Neo, particularly. Oh, there's, I see something up ahead. Oh, see, we've got big chunkers of stuff coming in here. Copper. Let's go mark that. mark that so that's the green one so up here we've got we've got a POI okay a Polaris POI looks like a restroom oh this is the one where if you if you mine it you become freaking enemies to them right away right yeah 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 I heard about that <laughs> You're not tricking me. You're not tricking me. Okay, why am I... Am I flying back the way I just came? No, I don't think so. No, I'm... I'm okay. I'm okay. We haven't marked this one yet. Oh, what do I see over there? I see something juicy over here. This is crazy, all these asteroids. This is like... Oh, there she blows! Nice. Okay. Well, we are going to munch down on this right now. No baddies around? No, no. Okay, good, good, good. Let's just get as close as possible. Fine, that's fine right here. And we'll level off a bit and then shut the thrusters off. We'll keep the turrets on. And we'll jump out. Get some mining, get to some mining. Okay, nice. This is exciting. Probably have so much weight. We'll crash back to the planet. If we have to, we'll uh, we'll use the the extra special linked toolbar that defeats physics. Okay. This is awesome. We're going to be able to make pretty much whatever we want in the way of mid-level, you know, I'm talking like warp and taxi tank, 
more thrusters. We'll be able to actually make a pretty decent little CV if we want. If we get if we find some Neo. <laughs> that is. Okay, I'm gonna finish digging this up and I will come grab it, guys. So here we go. We found a Neodymion asteroid. Uh, this is conveniently in the asteroid ring. Uh, that's where I've been finding pretty much everything. Uh, awesome. I, I Thank you. Finally, a scenario that has some sense to it. Asteroids in the asteroid ring have resources. Hallelujah. We don't have to search all over the place. This scenario is actually turning into to actually kind of an enjoyable scenario. Uh, even though that I've now neutralized the planet, uh, which actually gives us a whole bunch of building options now. But let's um, grab this Neo. We're just going to get really close to it. And I'll, I put my EVA boost on. And oh, look. Whoa, that was some bad driving. Okay. Um, let me jump out here. First of all, we're just going to turn the thrusters off. That gives us some extra time there on our fuel a little bit more efficient even though that this thing is at 94 percent um it's still because it's a cv it still does consume you know copious amounts of fuel compared to my little sv so got to be careful of that uh but we have found a ton of promethium out here now i mean holy crap this this asteroid i just started like like oh my god this is going to have tons of stuff i forgot to mark um the asteroids as i mine them except for the last one i'm like oh crap i didn't mark which ones i mined out and then i went back to that one thinking that was one of, and it's like nope nope that i didn't and so it's like oh it must be the other one it's like okay well which one <laughs> i've uncovered a few now that was stupid so do that mark them as completed if you're on single player so that you don't have to fly back to them because they're permanently marked on your map now and they will trick you into going there every time. <laughs> do, do not signify somehow. Okay. Let's jump out. I have my EVA on. Oh, by the way, I'll show you how much sath we got off that one asteroid. Quite a bit. Uh, just shy of three stacks, which will translate into about uh, 5,500 ingots or so. Okay. So, let's see how much we can grab. I'll just finish the episode up with us mining up this victorious Neodymion. Oh, this is just glorious. Yes, yes, bring it in. Now that i got a bunch of Sathium. We got, it's funny, eh? We don't even have an HV yet. Now I'm, I'll be like, we'll be, we'll be able to make a warp drive for the CV. We'll be able to make a whole bunch of stuff now. Especially being level 21 and not spending any points. My god, we can go on a big building spree now. Um, to tell the truth, I kind of want to make a really nasty tank for taking out POIs and then go raid the freaking go raid the uh, drone base even though that it's not actually spitting drones out it would have some good resources oh i see a see i see another resource uh, asteroid right over there don't know what it is yet but we'll go check it out after i'll probably fly around the ring see there's another one over there i can see um yeah they're just you can find asteroids everywhere <laughs> in this scenario. I mean, yes, it's intended for multiplayer, but works good for single player. <laughs> Woo! You just have to make sure when when you're running it on a server that all the settings are are set for regen and and obviously um 
other things like that, which are way different mechanic in multiplayer than single player. Because POI regen and asteroid regen and single player would make it a completely different game. Um, yeah, it'd be, it would be a little bit weird in single player. In multiplayer, it makes sense because you need those resources to be available all the time. But in single player, it's you should just consume it and that's gone, right? If you don't get enough from your scenario, then you failed. Or the scenario wasn't built correctly. I mean, that can happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is awesome. Okay, we've taken a big chunk here. I know we could consume less oxygen doing our... Um, doing our drone standing in the CV so that we're consuming the CV's oxygen. No, I still, I still haven't had confirmation if you consume the same amount of oxygen using in your suit or as opposed to in an oxygenated chamber of sort, of a sort, either in a CV or a a base. Um. I'd really like to actually test that to see, you know, if you're just sitting there doing, you know, no activity, how much you consume over a five minute period and test that outside and inside. So how much your, your suit consumes as opposed to your, what your base consumes or CV. Uh, if anyone's ever done that test, I would really like to see those results. Uh, cause then I, I don't, I wouldn't have to do the test myself because, <laughs> uh, if I am one thing, I'm lazy. So everything I do in the game, I do it so that I don't have to work so hard. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay. So let's take a look at what we got here and we'll call it so half a stack already. I'm going to finish off this meal and then I'm going to fly around and discover as much as I care to of it. It, it seems like I've already discovered a ton, like, like Pentaxin, Pentaxid for months, <laughs> not just days, but months. And yeah, the pro, tons of Promethium though. We got like resources, all the resources up to Zasposium, uh, Arrestrium, and the big problem right now is actually magnesium, believe it or not, because I can I can start making things that can shoot missiles, but I just, I've had to buy the magnesium. There's none in this sector at all. None. You can't. The only way to get magnesium is either buying it or the tiny little, um, the tiny little bearings that they have on the planets so you can just smash them into little rocks that they have they call them bearings or whatever um but yeah so they had there is magnesium on the ocean planet as little bearings but you got to go around the surface of the planet and collect those and it's it's a hassle and they only they're only in certain biomes like the um the beach biome or whatever right so it's it's limited and you don't get very much, and um, you have to be friendly with the players, or else you're not going to be able to do it. It's just, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay, I'm going to call it here. Next episode, we are going to have resources to just, oh my god. I mean, <laughs> look at look at all the points <laughs> put into stuff so we've been saving it to, to to actually use it as we need points so i i always screw up and spend my points when i shouldn't necessarily do that and this time around i'm like you know what you know what i'm just gonna level up gather resources uh we need to get to 25 for these uh solo missions anyway the dealer mission dealer um, so there's a Sathium one here. Got to be level 25 to do it. Uh, so 
infiltrate the, that freighter, steal all the ores with a drill. Sounds bizarre. Can repeat it infinite times to get all these things. Small and large optronic bridges. Um, because you need these for all your vehicles and bases. So anything tier three in CPU or higher requires the bridges and tier four requires the matrix. So yeah. Well guys, next episode we will <sighs> I don't know. I you know what? You're gonna have to stay tuned. I don't know if we're going to be crafting, if we're going to be expand, like we're going to be crafting of some sort, right? <laughs> we're going to be crafting. I don't know what we're going to craft. I don't know if we're going to expand on the CV and go for warp right away and just like try and find that Arrestrium and Zaskosium like right away and hit level 25 and just basically be able to build what the hell we want right away. Uh, that's not a bad idea. That might be what we do. So I think what we're probably going to do is we're going to expand on the CV here, uh, bump it up to, look to tier two, um, and that'll accommodate some more CPU so that we can get uh, put an advanced constructor in here and maybe a little bit more thrust, a little bit more carrying capacity. We'll bump it up to a level 10 warp capable uh, cargo vehicle, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, and expand out, expand it a little bit, just, just a bit, we'll just, we'll just keep growing this out to the sides and back, uh, just a smidge, I think it's all it's going to need, and then, uh, we'll put in proper, a, a proper size hangar bay to get a vehicle in here, I mean, we can't even get our SV in here, right, our peeny little nothing of an SV we can't get in here, it wasn't really intended for a for a uh, SV like that, it was intended for a starter HV, and I never built one, so whatever. <laughs> well, guys, next episode, yeah, I think we're going to work on the CV and make it warp capable and try and go, you know, and, and maybe even see if we can go collect. Oh, there's that burial chamber. Ooh, maybe we'll do the burial chamber instead. A little sneaky way. We'll do it the sneaky way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because remember, I'm lazy. Well, okay, guys. Till next episode, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.